This is week one of vertical jump training. Damn! Hey, this is week two of vertical jump training. Damn! Week four of vertical jump training. This is where I should start seeing the results. Damn! This is week 12. Damn! This is week 72 of my vertical jump program. I've lost hope. I should be seeing results by now. <laughs> No, I think I laughed on that one. <laughs> oh, hey there. Here are 10 things you can do if your vertical is stuck. Hey YouTube, it's been 78 weeks and I've made no vertical jump progress. I think I'm just gonna give up. I want it now. Nah. Have you tried being patient? Isn't that what doctors have? As fuck. All right, guys, one of the most important things for long-term progress and busting through plateaus if your vertical jump is stuck is patience. So when you first start training, you're gonna see a lot of newbie gains, but as you get more and more advanced, there's gonna be diminishing returns, meaning you're not gonna progress as fast as you normally would. I was stuck at the same level of 47 inches for a couple of years, but I kept up with the training. I didn't stop, I stayed patient. After those two years, in the span of a couple months, I made the jump from 47 to 50 inches. As long as you have a good training program, trust the process. But it was the thing. One of my favorite sayings is carry water, chop wood, keep doing the small things every single day, and eventually you're gonna bust through that plateau. Ready? Uh, yeah, go ahead, that's fine. <laughs> 1001. Actually, just a little dizzy from that shit. I could do some more. Do it more? One, two. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing 1500 backboard plyo jumps. I do them every day. It's um, actually from the Advanced Collegiate Protusional Propulsion Lab program. Wow, that's so cool. Have you made a lot of progress on it? Not as much as I'd like, basically none. Damn. What do you mean damn? Who are you talking to? There's, there's people watching us right now, thousands. Have you sought help? <laughs> One of the most important things to do if your vertical's been stuck for a while is adding training complexity. <laughs> I'm getting so anxious. I literally, for some reason, something talking about training on the camera makes me want to throw up everywhere. Like I've done some weird shit. One of the most important things you can do if your vertical has been stuck for a while is adding training complexity. I tried almost every single jump program that exists out there and my vertical had been stuck for a while before I met John. He basically had done every single program and the complexity of those programs was relatively simple. Once I started working with John, he added a lot of training complexity to the program. We manipulated intensities, volumes, and I did exercises that I had never done before and it helped me bust through a multi-gear plateau. One of the most important things when it comes to breaking through a multi-year plateau is increasing the training complexity. Early on, whenever I was coaching Austin, he basically had done every single program and the complexity of those programs was relatively simple. So one of the things that he did or that I was able to implement with him was to change the intensity, change the volume, and increase the complexity of the training plan as a whole. This helped him break through a multi-year plateau and eventually he was able to beat his all-time best and now he's the best he's ever been. One, two, one, two. Lying on camera now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to lose weight. Let's do this. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> Jenny Craig. If your vertical is stuck, lose weight. You can add a few inches to your vertical by just by shedding off those pounds, that baby weight, you know, that freshman 15, the fraternity, fat-ternity. You don't have to be fat for eternity. Just lose a few pounds. You'll start jumping higher. 
so cold. I couldn't possibly try to jump. It feels like it's Antarctic. What, 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 is, what is this warm, comforting sensation of this, this blanket? I feel it. Feel it in my body. <laughs> Sorry. It looks like you can. Are you shitting? It feels so warm. Like, like I could just. Dunk all of a sudden. I just feel so good. Like the weather just really, I don't know, just really so good. Oh my goodness, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, guys. One of the most simple things is find a warm environment. Find somewhere warm, not cold, warm. It's warm. I don't have to really explain it. Warm, warm. Not a freezer. Somewhere warm, not a freezer. Warm. All right, guys. One of the most important things that you can do if your vertical has been stuck is to sleep more a lot of athletes aren't getting enough sleep and that is literally where your body recovers and improves and gets better so make sure getting enough sleep or your vertical might be stuck forever and ever and ever coach said i need more protein i found this tub in there i'm gonna go ahead and chug all of it I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so if your progress is stagnant and you're finding yourself not improving as fast as you would like, one of the easiest things you can do is just consume more protein. Daily recommendation for athletes is actually going to be 1.8 to 2.2 grams per kilogram. So if you weigh 100 kilograms, that's roughly 200 grams of protein that you should be consuming every single day so that you're able to build lean muscle mass. You can do it! I can! Oh, you can do it! Yeah, let me Come get on, this man. ball from an hour away. Yeah. Come on, get up, baby! Yeah. Get up, baby! Come on, dunk that shit, boy! Dunk that shit! You're right. There it is! Yeah, oh, sir, baby! So much adrenaline! Oh, my goodness! I just jumped out of my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> One of the best things that you can do if your vertical is stuck is to jump more in really high, high adrenaline environment. A lot of guys judge their progress from their sessions when they're completely by themselves in a dead gym. And that is just absolutely not when you're gonna get your best performance. Instead, try to go into a high competitive environment such as right after a basketball game or at a big dunk session meet up with other guys that like dunking with you. Your level of performance is gonna skyrocket and what's cool is that plyometric self intensify. What that means is that as you jump higher, the jumps become more intense, so it becomes a more potent stimulus, and it's then gonna cause you to adapt more and make more progress and jump even higher, and hopefully bust through that plateau that you're stuck at. Again. 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 How tired are you? So tired. I don't care. Again. <sighs> One thing that you can try if your vertical has been stuck for a while is to jump more. One of the athletes we currently train has been doing our coaching for a while and his vertical was stuck. When I did a call with him, he told me that he was jumping 15 times per session. Jumping is the most specific thing that you can do to jump higher. Well, I told him to jump more. And once he started adding more jumps to his session, he actually started to actualize all the progress he was making in the weight room and started jumping higher. Eat through the back! Stop! <laughs> So if you're stuck at a certain level and you don't really know how to improve, one of the best things you can do is just get stronger. And I know a lot of people will say, well, like, at what point is too strong strong enough? Or what, what point is strong enough too strong? It doesn't matter. If you increase the ceiling for your force production, you're gonna have a better chance of jumping higher. There's no such thing as being too strong. So if you're stuck at a certain level, you need to make sure that you're still putting an emphasis on getting stronger. And some athletes will go in the weight room and they'll just putz around, they don't actually test, they don't track anything. That is not how you're going to make long-term improvement. You need to make sure that when you're in the weight room, you're taking it seriously, you're pushing when you're back squatting or power cleaning, you're pushing intent. Going through the motions when it comes to breaking through a plateau is going to be a limiter for you in the long run. I just love some hot black coffee in the morning. Something's happening to me! Give me the ball! I need the ball! Oh my god, I just... Bro, this looks freak. 
So one of the things that has helped me over the years when it comes to having higher jumps is actually drinking a lot of caffeine. So I will usually take in about 16 to 32 ounces of a Red Bull about 30 minutes before my session and that consistently improves the quality of my sessions. And my vertical's actually probably just gone up solely because of the fact that I've been taking in more caffeine before I jump. All right guys, if you found at least one of those things helpful to bust through a plateau, like the video, and like always, if you wanna get coached by all of us, go to tspstrength.com and apply for coaching. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Ah. Ah. Daddy, if I can do this, I can definitely handle plyos.